All right, well, the weather has been gorgeous all uh, over the area this week. Lots of folks getting out, trying to take advantage of it. But when you do that at the same time, you also uh, run into the possibility of encountering a tick out there. And Erie News Now's Kara Jeffers this morning has some tips to keep yourself safe. Spring hiking loses some appeal when hikers remember they have to deal with ticks. The insects do more than make people squirm. They also carry diseases. Lyme disease is well known, but Dr. Danielle Tufts at Pittsburgh University is researching a pathogen that's been spreading in the northeast called Babesia microti. The pathogen causes a malarian-like disease called Babesia in people. Which means that it lives within the red blood cells. So it can be very... Uh, detrimental to people that are immune compromised. One reason Babesia may increase is because it can be transferred not just by tick bites or blood transfusions, but also from mother to offspring in both animals and people. And there have been a couple of case studies where this was found in humans too. So a mother was able to transmit it to her baby when she was pregnant. When the research in Connecticut and Rhode Island ended, most of the small mammal population had the pathogen. Dr. Tufts has started research in Pennsylvania to track if and how the disease could increase here. A large issue with the pathogen for people is many can carry the disease asymptomatically. Unaware they have it, people donate blood and the pathogen never gets flagged because it's not tested for at this time. Dr. Tufts' research in Pennsylvania shows the tick population with the pathogen is only at 1 to 3 percent still. And starting to track the pathogen now can keep healthcare professionals and biologists informed for future decisions. I don't want to scare people that, oh my gosh, it's coming, don't come go outside. Like, you know, when we talk about ticks, we always want to make sure that people are aware it's perfectly fine to go outside, just use protective measures. Kara Jeffers, Erie News Now.